three, two, one, let's go! What's good, family? Today is Friday, March 22nd. It is another day the Lord has made. I'm your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with the latest end time news. Guys, let me start the video by saying thank you for tuning back in with us today. As always, your love and support means the world to us. Thank you so much. And if you can, give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you got that notification bell turned on. That way, you'll be notified every time we upload an End Times video. Now, while we're an End Time News Channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our Creator, the Most High God, and His Son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what family, but have everlasting life. Guys, where would we be without the cross? Think about that for a moment. Now to today's End Times video. Alrighty, my beautiful channel family, we're back with the End Time news update, and family, we got an important update this week. So much is going on in this world that points to the times we're living in. Bible prophecy is literally jumping off the pages of the Bible into real time. Everything that Messiah said that would be going down prior to his return, well, we're seeing it all go down in this generation. It's all converging in this generation. The fig tree generation. The generation that shall not pass away. So, family, what you say we get into our end time news update? Because you can truly see Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Let's go! Alrighty, headline number one comes from End of the American Dream on March 20th, and this end time headline reads, A massive altar for the red heifer sacrifice has been constructed in Israel. Family, let's get right into this. Now guys, I can confirm a massive altar for the red heifer sacrifice has been built in Israel. That's it you see on your screen right there. Now there's a lot of speculation that this sacrifice could actually go down in a few days. On Shabbat Parah, which begins on March 29th. Now Shabbat Parah is literally called the Sabbath of the red cow. Now according to the Old Testament, the red heifer needs to be three years old before it can be sacrificed and blemish-free. Now, these red heifers that come from Texas was born sometime in 2021. So, they will turn three years old sometime this year. But rabbis are saying that they want this sacrifice done by Passover. Now, guys, let me tell you why this is huge. I did a video about the red heifers about a week or two ago. And someone asked the question, what does the red heifers have to do with Bible prophecy? And they said, nowhere in the Bible does it say the red heifer is a sign of the end times. And they're kind of correct. These red heifers have to be sacrificed so the third Jewish temple can be rebuilt. And we know halfway through the tribulation, the Antichrist will stand in the third Jewish temple and proclaim himself to be God and demand to be worshipped. So in a way, these red heifers have to be sacrificed for the third temple to be rebuilt. That's why this is a really big deal. Now family, think about this. Yeshua Jesus was the final sacrifice. This could be the event that triggers the rapture of the church. No more sacrifices have to be done. Jesus did it all on the cross. This red heifer sacrifice is not going to sit well with the Most High God. Family, in the comment section below, let us know your thoughts on this. Now the headline number two, and it comes from El Paso Times on March 21st, and this end time headline reads, Migrants breach razor wire barrier in El Paso, overwhelm Texas National Guard. Guys, we got more news from the southern border. Check this out. Now, 
family, that was a very intense situation. So hundreds of migrants overcame Governor Greg Abbott's barrier along the Rio Grande in El Paso, Texas, after Texas National Guard soldiers were unable to hold them back. And the migrants breached conservative wire barriers shortly after 8.30 a.m., Thursday, March 21st, in hopes of surrendering to United States Border Patrol agents for processing. Some of the migrants have been camping on the northern bank of the Rio Grande, check this out, for up to three days. Now family, this is a really sad situation at the southern border, and I totally get it. They're trying to give themselves a better life. A lot of them are, but guys, there's been people crossing into the United States of Middle Eastern descent and Chinese descent that are military-aged males. What is their intentions? That is the real question. Family, we'll keep an eye on this situation, and I'll report any new news coming out about it. Now the headline number three, and it comes from Bloomberg on March 19th, and this end-time headline reads, U.S. warns of cyber, A-T-T-A-C-K-S, against water systems throughout the nation. Oh boy, let's get into this one. So, the Biden administration is warning states to be on guard for cyber, A-T-T-A-C-K-S, against water systems, citing ongoing threats from hackers linked to the governments of Iran and China. Now guys, the report from Bloomberg says this. Listen to this. The water system is an especially vulnerable part of the United States infrastructure. Fraught with weak controls, insufficient funding, and staffing shortages. The EPA is the lead federal agency for ensuring the nation's water sector is resilient to all threats and hazards. Now, family, if you remember back in December of 2023 in Pennsylvania, a water supply was hacked and they claimed Iran did it. Is it only a matter of time before we see a major event like that happen in the United States all across the country? But family, in my honest opinion, if something like that happens, that smells like a false flag to me all day long. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now the hell I'm number four, and it comes from the Watchers on March 21st, and this end time headline reads, Series of strong weather systems target United States. Guys, we got some more crazy end times weather right here. Let's get into it. So, a series of potent weather systems will impact the United States over the coming days, causing a wide array of severe conditions, from heavy snowfall across the northern states to thunderstorms and potential severe weather in the southern regions. Major travel disruptions are expected, and severe warnings have been issued to over 45 million Americans. Now, family, one thing we've seen in 2024 a lot of is an increase in crazy weather patterns all across the world. That's part of the birth pain process leading up to the return of our Messiah. Now, let's jump to headline number five, guys. And it comes from End of the American Dream on March 18th. And this end time headline reads, What does this mean? Benjamin Netanyahu and Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Hamamani were both born during eclipses. Now, family, I don't know what the odds of that are, but we're about to look at this. And guys, this is very interesting right here. Check this out. So Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was born on October 21st, 1949. And family, I also want to note Benjamin Netanyahu was born in the middle of a blood moon tetrab. And the four blood moons fell on Feast of Passover and Feast of Tabernacles. Now, that's really interesting. But in the middle of that tetrad, there was a partial solar eclipse that was visible over Israel. And you can see from time and date right here on the bottom of your screen, October 21st, partial solar eclipse. And if you remember, just five months after that, that was the end of the Arab Israel WAR. Now, Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Hamamani, he was born on April 19th, 1939. And that dude right there is one of the biggest enemies of Israel in the entire world. It's only a matter of time before them two countries have a major show-off and the Most High intervenes. But check this out. So he was born on April 19th, 1939. Check this out. There was also a solar eclipse on his birthday. A total solar eclipse. 
family in the comment section below. Once again, I want to know what you think. Is this a coincidence or what? Remember, there's major tensions between Iran and Israel. And we know the heavens, the stars, sun, and moon are all under the Most High God's jurisdiction. And I don't think it's a coincidence that both of them were born during solar eclipse and especially the blood moon tetrad falling around Benjamin Netanyahu's birth. Guys, what do you think? Now, family, to the Matthew 24 7 part of this update. In Matthew 24 7, the word of the Most High God says this For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. So, in the past 24 hours, there were 1,020 earthquakes up to a magnitude 6.5. There were 601 earthquakes below a magnitude 2, 241 earthquakes between a magnitude 2 and 3, 132 earthquakes between a magnitude 3 and 4, 40 earthquakes between a magnitude 4 and 5, 4 quakes between a magnitude 5 and 6, and 2 quakes above a magnitude 6, with the strongest being a 6.5. Guys, we continue to see earthquake activity pick up, just like Matthew 24 7 said we would. Now let's look at some day counts, family. We are 17 days away from the Great American Solar Eclipse on April 8, 2024, and we're three days away from the Blood Moon Lunar Eclipse. We're 31 days away from Passover, and 194 days away from Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets, which is our highest watch time each year, even though I've told you in the past just a few weeks ago, I believe April 8th is the highest watch time ever. Well, my beautiful channel family, that's our end time news update for Friday, March 22nd, 2024. Once again, let me say thank you for watching. As we put a lot of time and work into these update videos, so you guys watching them, it truly means the world to us. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And like I've been telling you for a few days now, I have not felt good lately. So it's only by the grace and power of God that I got through this video. Please continue to keep me in your prayers. And family, let me close the video out by saying this, man. The Most High God loves you. He loves you so much, He sent His only begotten Son to die for you, for you, for you on the cross. If you haven't already, believe the gospel of Jesus. Place your faith in Jesus. The Most High God is faithful and just. And guess what? He will forgive your sins, and that's absolute facts. And don't waste no time. Time is short. Jesus is coming soon. We are in the final moments at the end of days. Keep on looking up. You know why? Because that trumpet is about to blow. And guys, when it does, man, you already know. Let's go, Arpazzo! Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching, man. We love you guys so much. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, share it, and drop a comment. You know why? Because it helps us out so much. And we truly do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to this channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because you see, here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And remember, no request is too small. No request is too big for our God and family. That's facts. And family, I gotta say this. Look at your screen, man. Isn't that dog right there so cute? He's like, hey, you, have a great weekend. Keep on looking up. Jesus is coming soon. And family, one more thing. If you want to make a donation to what we do on the Watchman Adam News Channel, we got ways you can do so. Check the description box below. Always greatly appreciated and much needed. But family, as always, biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. And we absolutely mean that. Thank you for all the prayers, guys. Your prayers is what pulls us through this, all the spiritual warfare with the Most High's help. Thank you. Well, family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out. I love you guys and keep on looking up. See you in my next video. Love you.